Hey guys, this is Radio Joe on the air. Hey, I'm going to show you something kind of interesting today. I was fortunate enough recently to be looking at a magazine that had an advertisement from 1942, and the advertisement was, uh, oh, it was probably 30 benches, similar to this, side by side, uh, and they were being used by Zenith engineers. This would have been about 1942, 41, 40, someplace in that era. Uh, anyways, I based on what I saw and um, based on the equipment I saw, I took some uh, dimensions from the ad and started scribbling and came up with what I think is pretty close to what they had. Um, as you can see, I've got a stack of uh, capacitors here, uh, a tube tester. Uh, there's a couple of drawers down here that's uh, well, basically it's uh, hand tools and some uh, documentation for the equipment. Uh, obviously, they had a um, uh, analog uh, voltmeter, uh, not a DMD, a DMV. Uh, and obviously they didn't probably have an O-scope that was a Tektronic. Uh, but the functionalities were the same. Uh, this is a slide-out tray for the soldering iron. It allows me to get closer to the radios and work on them. Uh, I've got a Variac and a isolation transformer back there, which ties to a dim bulb tester and a built-in speaker. And then a, a bunch more parts here with some uh, wiring on the side and a and a separate uh, chemical cabinet, which they did also have. Uh, the interesting thing was, is they had a type of a dim bulb tester and they definitely had a built-in speaker and they had a built-in tube tester with uh, some drawers and a bunch of part bins. And uh, the consignment of shelf space is about the same and the amount of shelf space is about the same. Now I've added a couple of features and that I I now have a built-in AM antenna with an amplifier on it. The first two wires are the antenna and the rest of the 15 are an amplifier to it. Uh, and they also had some kind of a rubber surface. I, at least I think it was rubber. Uh, I just used um, fatigue mat instead and uh, just cover the top of the bench with fatigue mat. It helps isolate me since it's all rubber. And... Um, it's just ended up being a great little bench. I, I can't really tell you how effective this actually is, the uh, layout they have. Everything's in one spot. I don't have to run back and forth trying to figure out what I want to use. And uh, it's it's really good. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is uh, W7FDR Radio Joe signing off.